this up. Hello, guys. I don't get it why go is dropping. So let's see. Let's see. Alright, I'm expecting a huge bomb uh, on the break of structures, uh, break and retest here, but it didn't really happen. So now we're gonna find another support right here. I'm expecting to continue go up. Alright, but uh, some bearish momentum that is uh, surprisingly happening. Alright. Uh, so we're gonna do the feed lever uh, real quick uh, from this particular let's find out wait a minute from this particular uptrend because it retraced so much to the downside so we use this particular uptrend that retracing downwards and we can see currently we are sitting at 0 0.61 uh, just by reseeing it we have some bullish momentum here I'm still on the bullish buyer, uh, neglecting how how strong it pushed down. All right, this is uh for me is unexpected at all. I think this is just a retracement so far. We can see DXY form double rejections here, another rejections here. So probably we can see a potential continuations for gold uh, uh, buy. Right. So if if four hour flipping up and then we seeing this as a support, uh, the low right now gonna be. Seven. Four, seven, four, around seventy-three. Then, uh, if it's gonna be retesting the high right here in terms of the structures, if it were to break the low, it's gonna be down here. All right. So let's see if we can get a potential trades uh, anytime soon around thirty minute closure. 30 minute closure right here and welcome back guys right on right on right that's the plan for today still a buy still looking for buy We shall see on the 30 minute closures. Uh gonna wait for it. seven more minutes uh shall might be a buy on the next next 30 minute open here looking good actually the three four as the as the stop here Is it possible gold price go up to 2414? Uh, at this point, it's quite far away. I'm actually not expecting the retracement to be this strong and this big. As uh, I believe fundamentals is still pretty bullish actually. So this might be a strong retracement. Or did I meet, miss out any catalyst here? Or it's just pure technical retracement? It can be because the wall is still escalating the war is getting serious instead of uh you know slowing down and it's no ceasefire so i i did not expect uh the, the drop to be so strong at this point uh dropping and breaking the low so i would say this most probably gonna be a technical retracement but let's see what we respect the support here for the continuations up uh going back to daily high is quite far away it's 300 pips away but I will say if it were to push up, I will say uh, another 100 pips up will be great. And it's Friday soon, so 
it is not going to be 100% sure it have enough momentum to push the price up later. Right, and it's Friday. Uh, and we have pretty much no news today, I would say. Yeah, we have nothing today. Nothing to look at. Can't Iran say it's not Israel attack their country? If it's not Israel attacking their country, then it's... It's also a worse, uh, it's also a bad, I mean like, someone else is also attacking, right? So for me, um, still bullish for me. On boss alert. Send rocket to stars rather than each other. Looking for buy, yep. Looking for buy, correct. They say drone come inside Iran country. Okay, that's the that's suspicious. But on the war news, it didn't say that much and it's most likely still ongoing war and ongoing attack, especially Ukraine, Russia as well. Four more minutes guys, four more minutes. It's me. Um, let's say if we can get a retest will be great on 77 stuff like that and yeah i can even look at a daily flip as the as the buy stop point for continuations up uh so far weekly has been pretty pretty up here but daily looks like a huge ass reversal on the weak rejection so at the end of the day, if it broke 70, 70 will be a pivot point for me for it to change turn bearish for the daily and closing bearish uh, at the point of time. So that's what I'm going to be taking note as well. Uh, if it still may remains above this 0 0.618 I'm closing above, then I will look for buy. That's if 30 minute give a no top weight pullback, something like that, then I can just uh, buy it off here. Right, if not, to look for the buy stop is going to be slightly hard. You bought 75, got a BE, um, that's okay, right? Just stick with your plan. What's a beautiful trade anyway? We'll look at that. That's still pushing up. Brian's uh, coming soon, maybe?
Wow, the pump out of nowhere here, guys. Um, break out, break out, break out, break out. Shall we? If I were to trade break out, the risk gonna be seventy eight here. Let's see. Uh, nothing much. What else I do except for trading? That's a club question. <laughs> Go wait for us. Come on. Should come back. He came back quite a lot of times, surprisingly. Picking out the liquidity here. Uh, I did not expect gold to drop so much, actually. The fact that how strong the bearish candle state closed was just crazy. For me, I think it's just going to retest here. But it just go all the way down. Alright, 30 minute closing in 10 seconds. Alright, open. Nah, not moving yet. Still breaking up. Breaking up is gonna be hard. Oh, I'm gonna not trade that. Uh, need some sort of pullback here. Let's move up the zone. The worst thing is to see this uh just push up like that towards the top without any sort of retracement. That's gonna be bad. Oh, pushing back, guys. No chance, though. Sometimes it's just out of nowhere. They push like that. It's uh, crazy. 40 pips off. Right? Then stack dumps. Nope. Yeah, look at that. That's a liquidity grab, yeah. Gonna wait right, right now, uh, maybe we will get a 15 minute pullback in this case. Or if we want to come back to 0 0.61, it will be great. Uh, I'm not gonna be buying high here. But it's not bad actually because we are still at a low side. Um, if I were to trade breakout, it's gonna be 15 minute flip just now, but now it's like... Late breakout after late breakout. Okay, nice. It's coming back. Uh, don't relate them. Uh, don't try to relate go and stack indices. Just, just see them different. They can move up together sometime or move down together or move opposite way, but there shouldn't be uh, any specific correlation at the end of the day. All right. Uh, both stuff react some. Uh, both react to USD. Both react to dollar strength, but uh, there's different fundamentals that affecting uh, both sides, right? In Nasdaq is more on the stock market, gold is on the commodity, so it's a different sector. Looking for buy, yes, correct. Buy in the zone. Looking for buy. But we need a good pullback. Do that. Hello, Dixon. You guess it will go up to four nine five. Uh, my first target to see it we're gonna be a retest on. Yeah, uh, three nine three nine zero four nine four nine is the all time high, right? Probably you say um three nine five. You meant three nine five. 
yes, uh, 39, 395, yeah, you can approach it with a huge momentum. Easily 100 pips. This way. Oh, by next week. Uh, let's see. We shall see. That's close to five hundred already. Two thousand five hundred. Uh, that's potentially depends on how 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 bad the war news going on. I believe so. Uh, uh wait for fifteen minute close. Um, for me now is any timing, as long as we, as we get a retest. Uh, because I I don't, yeah, I don't feel like buying the high today, man. With the bearish momentums that uh appeared last uh, the previous two candlesticks on four hour, yeah, it's not what I expect. Where the price will actually retest um, and the drop was quite strong without any clear fundamentals and now we can see DXY is dropping back so gold should actually fly and if it does it's gonna be hard to cash right now because since it's at the high side DXY is dropping back then it's, it might be no retest damn it Waiting. Buy right. Uh, I'm waiting for buy after a pullback. Waiting. Still waiting here. Has momentum yep i saw that but uh we need a pullback without a pullback um it's gonna be hard to look for a breakout trade if i were to do that it's gonna be one hour closures later what's up what's up watching go push You buy, you buy, buy. <laughs> yeah, let's wait. Damn, I'm tired to it today. You don't know why. Just lazy, right? No, no, no. The lazy, just tired. Probably woke up too early. <laughs> Probably. Not too early as well. Just, uh, slightly early. Mm -hmm. Let's wait guys, two more minutes. You think can hit uh eight nine zero today? Eight nine zero two eight nine zero? No, impossible. If you hit eight eight nine zero today, impossible. impossible. That's that's not that's that's not uh, that's echo, cool, bro. Oh, uh, that's echo. Echo. Yeah, oh, from your side. Can hear myself. Oh, can. Can. You're not using mic? Hmm. 
my test, my test. Yeah. No, it's my echo. Just I can hear myself from your. Probably you are playing my video. Uh, our stream or stuff like that. Oh, just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just now. now. Yeah, now it's oh, fine. Now. now it's fine. Okay. Uh, drawler will drop next week. It's already start dropping here. Let's see. Uh, nice. We have a retest here coming in. We have a retest coming in. Uh, it's it's night time. Uh, around nine eight thirty p.m. Yeah, I, I was a little bit tired today. We can end early today though. It's Friday. Let's see. Depends yeah. if you can get a trade earlier on Nasdaq, then yeah. This is a two hour stream. Let's see. Getting a retest soon. And five minute, five minute closing. Okay. We need more actually. Oh no, not like that. Come on. Uh now the uh, now the bro your bro your keep what no I can hear myself shit wait hold on what is the difference for you today and yesterday you check your zoom uh you check your zoom on the mic side and the speaker side no i think no 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 from from brian the sounds from brian let's see i can hear myself from the speech uh 200k because of the discount How about now? Actually, mm -hmm. it's the same. I never touch anything. Might check one, two, three. Uh, yeah, it's fine now. You don't have a headset or something? No, but it last time it's been like that though. It's, yeah, it's I know, all I know. good. Yeah, I know. Suddenly, why I can hear myself there? <laughs> That's okay. a bit weird. Maybe I was I was uh turned on the Discord or whatever. It's okay. I don't know. Let's see. Nice. Good. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. What? What is? Who is? What? Who? Alpha Capital is closing down. What? No. Who say that, man? Crazy. Where you get the news from? I'm curious too. Maybe he means TFT? I don't know, man. Maybe it's not Alpha. <laughs> will it happen to all problems? Uh, no. It will happen to the bad one, maybe. The one that didn't manage a race. Last night, Go has a crazy push, yeah. The funded trader, um, no, it won't happen to all prop firms. But the one that is not sustainable, yeah, definitely they will run out of business at the end of the day. So we need to observe, that's not 100%. Was we just chilling today?
Uh, she is fine though. I think he said wrongly just now. Yeah, guess so too. 15 minute closure is gonna be interesting, guys. Uh, looking for a potential buy here. Wait for the grab. Yeah. Probably if he flip 4 hour candlestick would be nice. Then I'll place a buy stop on 4 hour flips around 80. Ten It didn't really bother to come down though, so it's gonna be hard to trade that high. Not that high, but it's just that the risk gonna be too big if I were to buy right now. But let's say I'm gonna buy right now, it's gonna raise at least 50 pips for me. You think my price one will come back? I'm, I don't think so. Man. Better they just open a new problems outside of Canada or stuff like that. Maybe that did, we never know. Hello, KH. Uh, you're early today? Ah, yeah, I just, just on time. Two, three, nine, two is the high. Um, why, why, why do you say so? What, what do you mean about the high? Still can buy, no need to pick stop. Uh, yeah, if you are looking for, let's say, uh, you know, like a bigger approach and then a bigger race, then yeah, you're, you're fine. I'm trying to look for the scalp, so not gonna be risking 50 pips. So I'm looking for trade something like 30 pips here today. I mean, it opens just trying to push up like this. Yeah. I wouldn't be looking for sell anytime soon. Table, table. <laughs> Your trade's on 77, can you hold it or not? I think all good for you. As long as you manage your risk, shouldn't come back down. If you come back down there, uh, it's gonna be... Yeah, it's not gonna be a reversal on bullish momentum. You can show your stop. What's up? For oh, good, yeah, not late. Free and easy. What's up? For oh, good. Go leaving us behind, as usual. Can't do shit now. <laughs> yeah. You are selling at the low. I don't. You sure you sell at the low? You sell here. <laughs> it seems like a breakout trade. If you have a breakout trade, you should have a stop loss as a breakout trader. Go has getting frustrating. Um, uh, expecting it to push up today as well. It did, but uh, I didn't expect it to retrace so much. Though. Maybe I expect it to retrace kind of like a yeah around ninety. But that that was a huge dump. But it makes sense. Because it came all the way back down to take off the liquidity on the low side here and then yeah it actually makes sense like now. Shing, so, shing. Yeah, if you don't get a trade anytime soon then I will look for one hour breakout. Which is gonna be something like that later. Uh the risk mm -hmm. gonna be managed according to where is the market open already on hourly. Stop.
this way. And this push, ah, okay. Oh, was it just twenty pips? Uh, this month is a uh, six. Nice, nice pullback. Mm -hmm. Fine, let's go. Wow. Gen said we miss the go by from London. London? And and uh and why open as well. And why open, yes, uh definitely not London. London is this one, uh, this one. Not bad. Uh. Yeah, like, uh, push. yeah, I think this one is the green end. Telegram? Uh no, I mean we have only one telegram channel. Discord is private. Nasdaq looking pretty good today. I buy for long this morning. 100 points up. Wow, nice. Bought from the low. Yeah, we shall see how how we can cash a Nasdaq trade later on. You already push up so much, so that that's a that's a three hundred sixty points push up. Wow. Okay, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot, man. That's not how the average market moved before the NYC open. That's a lot, right? Okay. You need to hit Brian the DM. Yeah, you just DM me from Telegram. We we getting a retest here, so um. Yeah, one hour pullback, something like that, will be what I'm looking for. Today Asian is well for US30, Nasdaq and Coco as well. Yeah, what's the reason though? What is the catalyst? I, I was surprised how, how, how crazy the price move up and down. You know, gold price specifically, I think it moved up. During the Asians, it moved up uh, 400 pips. And then uh, late Asian, it moved down 400 pips down until now. That's just crazy. I don't expect it to retrace so much down. Yeah. So now at least uh, we get... I think we get most of the retracement ready. If it really break the low, it means that it might go bearish for the daily candlestick. So if it stay above here, I will still on for the bullish. As long as it didn't break 70. I'll say as long as it didn't break 70. Yeah, but I don't see any specific catalyst here. The war news is still the same ongoing one. And then we don't have any economic uh we don't have any economic news on the calendar. Yeah, it's just the move is uh massive. And I mean since London, I mean since Asian I would say. That's like two two or three hundred pips today. Since yeah, that's the... crazy. That's a that's oh, a big, no big move, man. <laughs> Out of nowhere. All right, so we're getting a retest soon. So um, I would say on the next hourly candle, say pro high potential that we can get a trade. Let's wait. Let's get a good, nice retest. <laughs> mm. 
Ness recovered 360 points. Yeah, that's surprisingly volume during the Asians and London on Nasdaq. And it's more than what happened during the NYSE yesterday. It's a NYSE that, or I don't know, right now it's like it's not so much a high volume time uh, this day on NYSE. Uh, Baxan, uh, X, X, and X, uh, I'm trying out. Uh, I'm not funded yet. Just, just purchase challenge yesterday. You so yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna tr give some times to pass the challenges and if to see I um, am I able to get it paid out? I mean, like get funded and get it paid out. Not hundred percent, right? So let's see how it goes. But so far, yeah, we have a we have a trader in our uh in our Discord member already get like a fifteen k paid out. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a good amount of uh, profit, I would say. Or I think for 100k funded. I think he, def uh, he or she definitely... Leveraging. Yeah, going aggressive. <laughs> Leveraging the profit. <laughs> You're gonna buy now or wait for the closure? Wait for the closures on one hour. Wait for the closures on one hour or... I'm thinking about four hour flip. That's gonna be not bad as well. Yeah, let's wait for the culture because it, it should grab some liquidity. Then if it's a no top wick, liquidity grab, then I will just buy it. And then if it's uh up and down, then I will place a buy stop based on the four hour flip. Probably around 81. If that's were to be a buy stop. But I'm yeah, I prefer the no top wick buy later on the pullback. The 79 will be great. Four more minutes. Mm -hmm. The news about the war, the gauge, a little bit hectic. Yeah, it should go up in terms of the war. Maybe it does all the way up and then it try to grab all the liquidity down. That's crazy. But it's never a bad thing if gold drop. You just have a better chance to buy it at the low. Right, it can't be just going up all the time as well. So yeah, let it drop. I will be still be on bullish bias most of the time. But when it drop, I'm happy enough to see it drop to the low. Even though 2,300, 2,200, which is uh yeah, this this is maybe very hard. The lower it drop, the better place to buy it. Like at the end of the day, like a discount. <laughs> discount. Stop look. Let's wait. Four minutes, guys. No, don't do that. <laughs> manage your risk, man. Don't manage your risk. Do not copy trade blindly. And uh, maybe I need to put it in a night board. Remind me of that. <laughs> sure. All right, two more minutes. Fix it later, never mind. Two more minutes to go. But what I'm not liking is yeah, I should be closing that way. If not, it's not gonna be a pullback, right? Order field. <laughs> so fast. Oh, young X, uh, no, he asked you what house future. Uh, YouTube lantern C should be three to four seconds, uh, depending on your network.
One more minute to go. Forty second to go. Let's go. Brian got a new creep. What creep means? A little black. Creep is like a place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's back to That's Malaysia anyway. Yes, Was in uh, working in Singapore back then. One hour closing soon, guys. One hour closing soon. My new studio creep. <laughs> Brian, do you stream? Uh, Brian. Should stream every FOMC back now. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Every FOMC. Oh, okay, guys. Let's let's focus. Oh. Yeah. He has a small note to outweigh just now. I saw it. I saw it. God damn. God damn. I think the last FOMC I had a uh, one break even and one W. Yeah. Just buy it up on the Audi open though. Oh. Yeah, bro. That's no bottom weight right now. Man. Let it let it retrace. So, um, if we can get a buy stop on four hour flip around eighty one, that's the plan here. But you need to grab liquidity down first. It's not gonna be a buy limit. So let it grab liquidity down, make a solid break, and then I place a buy stop for the continuations. Right, buy limit gonna be a little bit risky, but because sometimes the price choose to just dip down, then it's gonna be catching a falling knife. So we wait for the retrace, for buy stop, uh, ride the momentum's up. That's the plan. So for today, no, 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 I'm not buying now, guys. Uh, if, if you want it, you just it's just up to you. I'm not in a trade. I'm looking for the trade. <laughs> Looks like we say anything. <coughs> Man, you flip really. A little bit. A little bit more. The... At least below one, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, the plan is to wait for one hour to grab the critty down. Then I place a buy stop on uh, 81. That's the plan for the continuation to the upside, riding the momentum. So that's the plan. But I'm ain't gonna be putting a buy stop right now because that's gonna be yeah not what my setup gonna be. But if the price choose to just push up from here, uh, it's gonna be a no trade for me as well. If I were to buy here, it's gonna be like a 50 pips risk. If I were to buy at 81, it's gonna be yeah maybe i need to risk on 78 yeah 30 pip stop loss makes sense that's a, around the 0 0.618 pip level as the yeah let's see you need to have a solid liquidity grab here it can't be just uh from here up i be selling as well man yeah selling you if you are selling you're selling your low and you're selling against all the fundamentals but I, I really didn't expect the price to be this and this and this, 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 this. But we this, do, this. The, uh, you did, you can see that it take off the liquidity here. Take off the liquidity here. It broke the previous low. And then close above, close back above 0.618. X. So this will be considering as a, a liquidity swipe on low for me and if it's still close above so potential fake out can happen and retest can be up to 390 so do we have a flip yet around 81 almost almost yeah let it grab more liquidity 81 81 almost there though yeah Needs a little bit more though. Should we wait for the five minute close? 
yeah it can be it can be let it drop more you know drop to 80 then i place a buy stop on 81 okay Eighty one buy stop. Fifteen minute uh five minute close we place the buy stop, I think. Mm -hmm. Thirty second. Thirty second. Thirty second of Do not fly it up. Okay, you can go down as much as you want, but don't push now. Starting to reject, bro. Yeah, man. Okay, still there, still there. Uh, I already get ready with 81 buy stop. Uh, 30 pip stop loss, which is going to be 88. I'm not putting it yet, but it's one finger away. So I'm waiting for 5 minute closures. Okay, I don't like this. Let it be first. Okay, nice. Nice, drop more, drop more. 81. Okay. Buy stop gonna be placed, but if it break the low, then it's gonna be. Uh, I will remove the buy stop. Yeah, it's dead. Come on. All right. If we break the lows, then we look for buy at the lower side. That will be even better. Alright, so with this way, uh, won't get burned. If I just buy on the pullback, this is what I'm scared of, you know. The price just dip all the way down and then uh, momentum is turning and then I was stuck in the drawdown. But now instead, I'm placing a buy stop. When it flip all the way up, this should be turning as a rejection. And drive the price at least, you know, a 10 pips up, and then it will be great. Not 100%, but let's see. All right? If the price continue to go down, then this is my zone to look for buy. Mm, okay. Some rejections. I'm thinking of 0, 08 actually. But I don't think should I I should move it. No lah. Let it be. Let it be. That's gonna be also the four hour flip here. When it flip up, you know, expect some push up. Excuse me. What happened go up? Uh yeah, that should be the case, but um just the thing that it's not happening though. Today I think go already push up so much, maybe sometime it won a technical retracement, I would say that's the thing. USA it was not involved. Maybe US was not involved. If US is involved and then yeah, that's gonna be great. Oh no, that's not gonna be great, that's gonna be massive push. We haven't buy yet. <laughs> if you go full margin, manage your risk. And we, I'm going to remove the buy stop if we break the lows here. Actually, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it now here. Lows okay. now. Yeah. Remove the buy stop as it broke the low. It's dipping hard though. Now, okay, since it's dipping hard, I'm gonna be looking for another buy, but not here. It's gonna be around the low here on the rejections. Yeah, I mean, it, it's even better if I can get a buy in the low instead of the buy stop right now. That's gonna be more favorable and I can hold it longer definitely at, this, at that point. Uh, if we can get a buy in the rejections, right? So I just removed the buy stop. The buy stop was previously 81. Uh, anticipating price if the flies were to flip and then continues up. 
but it didn't. It's just grabbed all the liquidity down and still dropping right now. So I'm waiting for Rich. another trade here on the low. Zero point six one eight can be it also. So, um, if we start to show some rejections here, zero point six one eight can be the case. Mm, some rejections happen. So let's remove the zone first because if this were to be the move, then. We plan risk for 74. A little bit too far. A little bit too far. 74.5. I mean, unless we go for the buy limit. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm still, yeah. I think I, I'm still up for the buy stop here. Uh, buy stop or market execution buy 75 as a support. Uh, it has not retest 75. If it, re if it retest 75, it's actually a little bit, um, a little bit scary because it came all the way back down. Then it means that momentum can even break a low. So if it respect the body here, respect the 0 0.618 or respect the body here will actually be. Uh, making sense. Yeah, makes sense. So, uh, that's a no setup right now. I just removed the buy stop. Uh, that is eighty one. All right, it didn't flip. So now we shall wait for fifty minute closures probably. Uh, I'm looking for buy. I'm looking for buy. Ooh, look at that, man. Buy. I'm looking for buy, but I don't have a setup yet until 15 minute closures. Uh, the previous approach is going to be a buy stop here, but it broke the low. So it kind of take out the, the pre plan risk, so I remove it. If it stay above 0 0.618, I will still remain a buy stop, but it broke the low. So now I'm going to look for another buy. Uh, preferable around 77 will be great. Uh, you think it's a sell, price rejected, Tokyo low. I mean, stick with your analysis. At the end of the day, uh, you know, we can be right or wrong at some points. Or we can be both making money. So you might cash a big sell or I cash a small buy, stuff like that. So stick with your analysis at the end of the day. Still waiting. Today is um, kind of like the day that I have strong bullish buyers, but the price is not showing. Giving us. If it's not giving the case, yeah, not showing the it's case. Not, so. It's not giving. It's yeah. not giving. <laughs> it's not giving. Two more minutes of the minute closures. If daily today close bearish, um, like close strong bearish, then I would say yeah. Maybe it want to retest a little bit more, but until that, it's still open right now. It's still active, so can't can't assure anything. And of course, all the news here is still still pretty bullish on uh, what we call that. Still really bullish on gold. I'm gonna be curious about. The weekend, how the wall is going to react during the weekend. That's gonna That's be interesting. Be... Yeah. yeah, and right. since price dropped so much today, it gives opportunity as well. So let's say I don't get any buy today on uh, Friday. Uh, price dropped even more, even to let's say 360. And then over the weekend, we have a wall starting in. Like let's say this country with this country is a... Uh, it's a new regional war. Then Monday, there's a high potential chance to have a, have a push as well. 
You think Goldie gonna keep going down? Um, I I can't assure right now. My bullish, uh, my buy is bullish, but the momentum showing bearish right now, at least at this point. But the matter is still still bullish for me. But the X Y is gaining some strength as well. So I'll say mixed confirmations. Fifteen minute is dropping bad. Let's say we can get a get a retest on the low. It's not bad as well. Seventy six. The daily candle looks exhausted. I get what you mean. Exhausted at pushing up and then all the way back down. This is a huge rejection, but I dub I dub it. So I'm still on a bullish bias here. I mean, it can it can still go down, or it can still flip up and maybe close slightly bullish here, small bullish candlestick, weak bullish candlestick here. So that's probably this to go. And since price uh from the last movement it moved down like a uh, four hundred pips down, so I expect at least a hundred pips retracement, but it did not keep it yet. So let's wait. What is this about? What's the Instagram about? And it's almost. Let it drop, guys. Let it drop now. I would be surprised if it's a liquidity grab. 60. Oh, wow. Might be wrong today here, guys. I might be wrong on the bias here. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a bad bearish here. Move. And I'm okay to be wrong in terms of my bias. And I'm not gonna force a sell or if it if I don't get a buy, I avoid avoid taking a trip or just look for buy another day. Years of Israel inclusions. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, it broke the low. It's breaking. Let's wait, let's wait. I'll wait around here. This looks like a nice one though. If it if it respect it, I would say. If you don't, then it's gonna be down here already. It's uh Nasdaq time, you know. Oh yeah, Let, let's 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 do an analysis with Nasdaq first, and then uh, I'll still keep my night on go because it's on a crucial level right now, though. Mm -hmm. It's on a crucial level right now. This might be it. Wow, these rejections. Let, let's stick with gold first, guys. Let's stick with gold first. But it rejected so much, man. I mean, if this is close for five minutes, you know, like you have more, more chance to get in.
Oh fuck! Look at that man. <laughs> yeah, I, I see that. Yeah, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's, let's take with goal first, guys. The momentum is still. It's too much. It's too much. It's gonna be a buy stop if if if, if you're gonna get it later. It deep like this. Breakout. Like I would say, breakout trade. It might be a breakout trade. With this momentum, it's gonna be a breakout trade. Break on the five minute. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, Bob. Um, 77, 76, 76. If you get 76, come on, no top, though. 70, 70. Oh, shit. Oh, we got get it on the flip. It's gonna be 8.5, 8.5. Too high, though. If I, too high, too high. the risk, the risk, the risk is the problem right now. Gone. Gone chase. Do that, do that. No, do that. I want to see it retest seven, uh, eighty again, eighty. It's hard to catch as well, though. Hard to catch, I think. Right, we chew a bit, we chew a bit. Um, quick analysis on. Okay, no, it's now come back to 80. Yeah, just focus, a, focus on gophers a, a little bit. Get ready for 80, I would say. 80. Come on. Not 80, 78. 78. Should we wait for NYC or? I think we can just wait. Yeah, Why I think we stick with go first. We stick with go. Oh, we, we stick with go first because uh, Nasdaq also um, is around somewhere that I'm. I wouldn't want to take a trade, but go is where I want to look for the buy. We do a quick analysis before we uh, back to go real quick. Oh, this is zero point six. Wow, fuck. Look at that. Mm. Okay. Don't make sense now. Go, go. Just a minute, <laughs> I just walk away here. Flying already? Fun. Did it retest? Re no, it, it it did retest seventy eight, but um, yeah, seems like gone here. I don't. Gone already. Gone already. Move on. It's okay, guys. Uh, I, I think today we stick with gold because, again, okay, Nasdaq is meter of 0 0.6 morning, 0 0.5, 0 0.32, so it's at meter. And um, today I were to look at the trade, it's gonna be same low. And then a retest on the high for the short. 
So it's kind of like I'm in the middle right now to take any trade. In but gold is at the way to maybe a locket uh, to launch up. Wow, the 78 was nice all just now. Oh, oh wow. Wow bro, go on bro. Fuck me bro. Uh let's see maybe NYC gonna give magic we never knows yo. No no I should enter on 78 but I didn't. I should. Now it's, it's a little bit fuck. Because I was I was in Nest Tank. I, I thought you're gonna stall there until NYC open and give us a chance. Okay, let's buy. But no, it's just flat out. <laughs> but m maybe NYC gonna give a retracement, right? Retracement. Maybe yeah. Maybe lah, mean... maybe la. If NYC open up here, then we look at Nest Tank. But Nest Tank also okay. Nest Tank is at the middle of uh nowhere. That I will buy or sell. So yeah, I would I would like to sell up here and buy back down here. But right now it's kind of like um nope. Bro, let's wait. Oh yeah, it's back, man. Boom, super bad. Yeah, I think NYC we might get a gold trade here. We might get a gold trade. Hey, the five minute. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. In NYSE we trust. NYSE we trust. NYSE we trust. We trust. The magical pullback. No top wig. But a bang. You get it. Yes. Uh... Retest all time high. You can plan for a trade, maybe try to hold it and secure one trade. That's 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 how I'm gonna do this day. You know, scalp a trade to secure profit, and another one uh, practice to hold it for longer on a different account. So I don't have the urge of oh shit, later it reverse and I'm gonna lose all my profit, but at least I secured already. Now I'll just leave a trade for for the bigger. You going up? Oh my mama! Sayonara, bro. Thirty forty pips gone. The fact that it, it, it flipped the 1 hour 15 minute, it can be a 100 pips up here, man. The 15 minute flip here. You think it will be the all time high again? All time high means what? 14k down on the live account? Yeah, you should have stop loss, man. I'm, I, I can't assure you that, but fundamentally, it's still bullish. If you if you come back all the way up, yeah, you're gonna thanks everyone. <laughs> gonna be a blessing. No news today. Today is a silent day here, guys. No, no any news here. Uh, no, no any economic news. <laughs> One straight up. Yeah, man, crazy, bro. Might be a breakout at this point on the next thirty minute. Might trading the breakout trade later. Yeah. 
can't be, can't be missing auto move right now. Yeah, if you're talking about the war news, yes, there's a war news. There's a few war news. Alright, and why is he open? Nothing much, still pushing up. Let's that drop a little without top wick. Same goes to uh US 30. La la. Shall we get a number? And just keep pushing and pushing. I think we can black to the plan just now where 4 hour flip and then take a buy stop and then put a 30 pip stop pause and fuck it just fly up. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't give the chance here. No longer be there. Buy high. <laughs> Break out. <laughs> Break out. Yo, go! Wow. 100 pips from the man. man. You are in a cell on Nasdaq. Nice. Nice one. I don't have a plan on Nasdaq because right now it's in the middle of it rejecting the whole candlestick. It, it rejected. So, yeah, more likely to play around the range and no bias on Nasdaq. You close one, eight, three, close. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. If you trade a breakout, shit, get burned. <laughs> if you trade a yeah. breakout, bang. <laughs> if it retests yeah. a bit, then we are gone already. So, never a fan of breakout here. Candle flipping is nice, but breakout trade is. Wow, you need to be. You're gonna get a lot of liquidations, you know? Like, every time you try to. Let's say you're gonna sell the low. So many liquidity grab. You thought we buy? I also, yeah, I also feel like I should buy just now, but I didn't. Your friend bought go at two four one two. Can he still hold? Uh, first thing he need to have a stop loss. Uh, second thing, I think gold is still overall bullish, and um, if today if today daily candlestick close bullish, uh, there's still high probabilities for him to be back on where is entry. But if today close bearish, maybe a little bit dangerous. And look over the news on the weekend about the war, how the war is uh accelerating or slowing down. And it will give Monday market open a big, big impact on that case.
uh, go reach 91 um, with this momentum, I would say yes. He can. With the current momentum, I think he can. It's a matter of time. Matter of time. Missing the trade. Damn. We have been a buy on. Nice buy stop here. The greedy grab. The risk is. That's two chance actually. 15 minute flip. 78. Break out, bro. Let's, yes. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Break out. Gotta be now, though. It's gonna be. Okay, bye now. Bye, 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 bye. Fine, 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 but fine, the risk is gonna be 100 pips. Please be a not selling. Music. Uh, or yeah. At least we are not selling on the pineapples. We are uh, buying on the pineapple. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I I convinced myself to look for buy on gold and Nasdaq 80 percent of the time. And if I don't see the buy, I just avoid trading it. Right, doesn't mean that I won't sell go or sell Nasdaq forever. But if the fundamentals is still bullish for me, at the end of the day, I think there's no point for me to go against it until you know that's catalyst telling go is going down. Uh, the the, the technical fundamental both is telling go is going down. Then yes, okay, I'll, that's the time that I'm gonna sell. Other than that, I'll focus on buy. I think it it will in this case it will increase, um. The probabilities, uh, well, just that what I think. We are currently down eight point five percent in a hundred k FTMO challenge. How do I recover? Give me some suggestions. Uh, FTMO is expensive. If you don't really don't feel like uh losing it, reduce your risk by fifty percent. How you are risking, so uh, you can break it down your drawdown when you are more than fifty. 5% drawdown, that's kind of like a zone that you might lose the account. So from there, uh, you try to recover it back up above 5% means you get to 5% drawdown or, or slightly better. From there, you can start back to risk like oh, what you did. Goal. Yeah, goal is kind of gone. And then from there, when you recover it, uh, the whole account, just, just start press. <laughs> I just bought and it's already 30 pips. Yeah, hundred percent right. Scalp, 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 scalp. Really crazy, bro. All right. When the momentum is right, and then just I think he can ride it, but never know something like this happen. Also, that's crazy. The drop is crazy. Yeah. Oh shit. We we've been waiting for pullback. I've been waiting for pullback, but when pullback happened, I didn't fucking take it trade. I think that's the problem today for now. That's two pullback. One pullback right here. So I didn't see the buy coming on the buy stop. Uh, second pullback, that's the one I'm talking about on 78. And I didn't take it. So now it's like, yeah, seeing it push 100 pips. Okay. It's okay, baby. And uh, Nasdaq still dropping, so let it drop. Wherever it goes, the buy is gonna be looking for down here. Oh, oh, US thirty, you are pushing up quietly. Okay, then they put a mark here to see how it goes today. Put a mark here today. All right, wait a minute. Goodbye, goodbye.
you will only risk 0.10% since I have 1.5% chance left uh, and take 0.5% when my drawdown at back to... Is it good? Yeah, that's that's fine, silence. That's fine, that's fine. Um, Yeah, that's a good way to practice uh, your discipline and patience to recover your challenges. Uh, For me... To be super honest, I'm actually okay to lose uh, challenges, but but FDMO is expensive, so yeah, take your time to recover it. Practice the patience and discipline. It will be a yeah, it will be a good skill set at the end of the day if you manage to recover it. It's forming a hash hash HL. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. And momentum is small to raise the upside right now, but any retracement is gonna be great. Because I haven't entered a single buy yet. Uh, rice both both more more problem are using rice. Most are problem using rice, but uh, some still using rice. So, useful. Show us magic, oh, show us magic. See, puppy. Five minute low top again. That is for me, uh, in my chart. Show us magic. It's the... Uh, is it good to fund 600k one account or three account with 200k for my point of view always diversify your risk i i the biggest account i hold is 200k and i never ever merge my account i like the way that how i can diversify it so i can trade this account make one two percent and then lock it out forget about it until my paid out date and then trade other account right so at the end of the day even though i have losing day winning day losing day winning day i still get get to secure the paid out so I'm not going to be trading a big account size until now. I don't do that. Right. I think now is at the most, I will still trade 200 K account. I'm not interested on those big, big, big account size. And the, the moment you lose the account by any mistake you're trying to do or any slippage, you know, any, anything that news trade or news, you forgot about news rules, stuff like that. You lose that account is going to be causing you a big chunks in terms of your in, uh, cost of investment. First thing. So, yeah, it, it costs you a lot when you make a mistake on a big account, right? But if you diversify your risk and you can still use trade copiers, stuff like that, uh, it gives you more flexibilities and uh, peace of mind. If I were to trade a 600k account, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have a peace of mind. But I'm trading multiple accounts like a 100k, 200k. You know, I still can get it because I'm trading one single account, 100k, and it might connect to a few accounts. Yeah, I can still be okay with it. How long does it pass first challenge? You want to secure a profit challenge has been nine months. Old. Wow. Your challenge has been nine months old. That's good and bad thing, actually. You know, okay, so if if the discipline you have not losing your account applied on a funded account you have been profitable for many months so it means that anytime that you are positive with profit you withdraw it anytime you're in a drawdown you reduce your risk to recover it back to survive nine months long so just the approach and how you're gonna see your challenges for me is i want to get my challenge passed instead of i want to be the best trader on my challenges you know so it's really depend on you if you think that the account size that you are doing is too big or is not something that you afford to lose i think you should scale down a little bit and i personally always go a little more aggressive on my challenges and then when it goes to a funded account and then i try to be um 
lower lowering down my risk and then I try to stay funded as long as possible. Right, the longest funded account right now is uh from last September. Right, that I I never lose it yet until now, and then uh it's after it's where after the my best case that I started get just got funded without a problem. So mindset to challenges get it passed and it shouldn't be it should be something that you afford to lose and then when further account stay funded yeah the, the, the important thing is it's not like you're trying to burn money you know like yeah but you had to lose every time you purchase an account that's the thing so but it's not a bad thing if you can hold a challenges for nine months uh no harm all out, your money yeah. <laughs> all out respect because i don't i think 99 percent of traders can't do that which is holding the account for nine months on a challenge phase but it's just that you you might need to you know slightly switch on the mindsets on how to pass the challenges if you are risking 0.5 percent or one percent on the initial balance you need to visualize how you're gonna pass it with your journal all right i assume let's say you have one to two r now and you have a 0.5% risk per trade. All right. And let's say when when is the last time you get a eight winning strike from your journal? If that never happened, means that you might never ever pass your challenges with the current risk approach that you are doing. Because it's eight percent or ten percent. If it's ten percent, one to two are now zero point five percent. That's gonna be ten winning strike that you need. Winning strike doesn't mean that 10 winning trade. You need to consistently win 10 times in a row. Right? If that never happened in your journal before, it means that um, it might not happen. So you need to have a different approach on passing that challenges. Right? Maybe slightly more aggressive. Something that you can see, let's say uh, most of you can get 3-4 winning strike on your challenges, then you're gonna do it or something that you need to hold a trade longer on the challenges then go for it because again challenges they have a higher profit target funded account you don't have profit target so you need to have a slightly different approach doesn't mean a different strategy same strategy but the risk approach is gonna be slightly different especially on facebook what problem I use, uh, you can check out on my social media, the problem that I got paid out, that I posted with, uh, but I can't recommend any problem right now. Uh, you can consider having two accounts, but again, all right, if 100k account is pricey for you, you can't afford to lose. Diversified it to 250k account. You don't have to buy it right away. You just buy one. And then think about how visualize how you're gonna pass it with your average uh with your pre-planned risk reward and your winning rate and your journal. Look at your winning strikes, possibilities of winning strike, and uh sometime when phase one happened, look into how you can get a bigger reward. To build up your buffer first on your first trade, then only scout the way through. This is how I do it. But, but you know, you need to um, but appreciate yourself for being disciplined. The ninth one for not blowing that challenges. That's already a. It's it's hard though. It's not yeah, easy. That's already a big thumbs up. I don't think I can ever hold a a challenges more than I would say four months. <laughs> Longest maybe I hold a challenges for four months, or not not more than six months at least. So that's already a W for you. So if you apply that kind of uh mindset and discipline towards a funded account. I would say already you're gonna get a lot of uh, profits withdraw already when if you just every time you make a profit of 0.5%, 1%, 3%, withdraw and come, when you're in a drawdown you recover it slowly and then in profit you withdraw you're gonna withdraw at least a few times already because phase one that's a big profit target so it just hard for you to risk 
pull low and expect a super big winning strike that is um that's just hard like sometimes you know it it, it it doesn't make sense you know when you really visualize it unless you have a super big rnr let's say you reach 0 0.5 percent you have a 1. 1 to 4 rnr but 1 to 4 rnr like how how often it gonna happen Uh, Nasdaq still a no trade and Go has beautiful retracement. While we are chatting here, <laughs> while we are chatting, what's the plan now? Man, ping pong, man, really ping pong. Plan is uh, still buy. Still buy. Eighty. Seventy-seven. Looks like this five minute is complete. Oh, okay. I just mentioned it. Yeah, I'm looking for go by right now still. Tesla is not doing so well. So so. The fuck though. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yo, I'm just okay. getting ready for the buy and then. Uh... I was Nah, I need the fuck. If it, if it tap 80, let's get it. Uh. No more hesitation. If it tap around 80, I will get it here. Any 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 sort of candlestick, next 5 or next 15. That's the plan right now. Yeah. Around 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 where 1 hour flip up actually. But we grab on the liquidity. Recalling 7,000 of Cybertruck. Okay. What about NVIDIA? I didn't even bother to check. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't see a, a setup on NASDAQ. That's why I'm focusing on gold. NVIDIA is down 9 points, 10 points. Uh, should be bad for for the stock market right here. Tesla is, um, Tesla is down 1 points only, actually. Close at BE, uh, that's fine. It's, it's not a loss, it's not a bad thing. If it's not a loss, it's not a bad thing. Uh, price hitting BE is what you expect it when you put your stop loss at break even, and that's how you manage a risk. If I enter and lose now, gonna be feel bad, then don't enter. Don't enter. <laughs> Maybe don't enter, right? I mean, we still have next week, you know, like no point trying to blow your account today. We still have the market open and then maybe weekend going to be have surprising. Uh, let's go. As long as you have a uh, paid out secured already. Now, when you trade another fund account, you're going to feel secured as well. So let's just do it, but risk accordingly. Oh, then, okay. Take start.
yeah but if you if you if you're in the drawdown on the fund accounts on the first day and then it's friday the weekend you're gonna feel fuck up now <laughs> now i'm fine because now i'm managing a little bit more capital so if i'm in the drawdown i'm gonna okay it's okay i mean but you if, are uh, funded as well yeah Time for the paid out but if i have zero paid out secured i will i will be like shit so far, I, I didn't. I don't experience it yet. I try to keep at least a uh, three, four account with one, two percent or or lower paid out that I always secure. So whenever I have four accounts with oh wait 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 guys sorry um did it eighty eighty I'm gonna get it. So when I have three four accounts with one two percent paid out secured, I'm just gonna be okay. You know let let's do something. A little bit more, maybe three, four percent. You have when you have the buffer, yes. When I have the paid out secured for at least three, four account, that's already right. secured one, two percent that I already lock out, uh, already try to forget about it until the paid out day. That's that's how I approach to with uh, the problems for the account. You only have $200 on 10k and you know try to make your way out slowly lower down your risk if that's what you want uh your funded account with blue garden is up and down currently up two percent but was down 2.5 percent then why don't secure the paid out why just just secure the paid out alex i think if, as if that's your first paid out, just secure it. I think 2% paid out is good. If you can consistently prove yourself to secure 1-2% every single month, that's already a good work, right? And if especially that's your only funded account, or you don't have a, like at least a few funded account, don't aim, don't aim unrealistic gain or something that's too aggressive, right? I only look for... Uh, more than 2% when I have more than 500k in funded. So if I were to look for 10% or 5% or 6% every single funded account I have on first, I wouldn't think that I'm going to be able to skew up. Even though right now I'm stuck, but yeah, I'm trying to get more funding. And at the end of the day, it's not easy to find a reliable firm as well. All right, guys, are we getting 80 soon? Uh, Nasdaq, no setup today, so we're going to focus on Go, actually. Uh, one point five. I think two is uh two hundred k. Yeah, three. Three is two hundred k. Nine. That's around twelve. Uh, I'm talking about funded account, challenge account. I have currently probably around six hundred k. Buy stop at four hour. Soon though, two minutes. Yeah, I'm Man, thinking about I... buy stop at eighty on the next Yo, five minute open. The five minute, which is the hourly close, lah. Yeah, let's do it. But why close bearish though? trying to ping pong again ping try to ping pong. pong again then we can we can buy the low okay it's okay uh few it's times okay. though but the thing is if this thing will test Wait, so many oh, times you, you, you worry that you're gonna break right but if we and... if you place a buy stop yeah it should yeah, it makes more sense yeah it, it makes more sense in case in terms of if you want to if you want to push up you're gonna grab some momentum right so if you buy here right away then it's gonna be dangerous yeah, so, so it means like yeah, know. we have one more minute to go, so let's let's do. Let's let's get ready, right? If that's if that's a no top week, then it's gonna be a, a a market exclusions. And if it's a it's, it's a something like that, then we try to look for buy stop. Forty second to go. Um, 
the pre plan risk right now if if it retests 50% 75 the, the problem is the risk right now here what the what the fuck it happened right now okay still okay still okay You will buy at 70, 70, wow, okay, that's smart. Uh, 12 accounts, funded account, I have 12 accounts. Consists of, what the fuck is this? Consists of, of uh, 200k and 100k. What the fuck is Yo, this, bro? Yo, what is this, man? I'm not using funded, what the fuck? What is this? No bottom wick. That's the thing. Right? That's the thing, bro. This is like, what the fuck? What the fuck you want, man? <laughs> uh, so how I manage twelve account is I'm gonna be trading my account by batch not all funded count i'm gonna uh normally do two funded two challenges all right i'm gonna use uh trade copier trade connect stuff like that uh last time i used social trader too so from there i will connect my trades and i have account specifically for go as account specifically for nasdaq because some of the problems that have different rules and different contract size and leverage that you need to find certain problems that is suitable to trade a specific instrument all right and whenever i have profit on one two percent i'm gonna secure the paid out on the first four funded account all right that gonna be giving me a peace of mind that gonna be making me profitable every single month when i secure that one two percent so from there i got four account of one two percent secured all right and then the maybe another three four account i will be slightly more aggressive so... But again, if you slightly more aggressive means I have a chance of losing as well. But when I'm in a drawdown, I try to lower my risk. So that's how I'm managing my account right now. And still don't have a bottom week, so we're gonna wait for it. Uh already happened though. I think it came down. No, it didn't. It came down but it didn't flip it. Damn. So we wait for the solid week. We've been waiting for so long. <laughs> no. We wait for 78 oh, for the buy stop if it came all the way down. Let's go. One and a half, man. Thing. Um, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still gonna be waiting for the the wake the bot. Seven seventy six though. I'm waiting for it to spike down a little bit. Hope it does, man. Yeah, I, I think it can. You know, like a fake, fake deep down, you know, pump and dump that kind. See ya, uh, shadow storm. See you, see you. Coming, coming. Came back though. Fuck you, go. Fuck you, go. No, uh, what I'm waiting is this something like that, okay? I'm waiting a bottom wave, then I place a buy stop on 78 or 78.5 to ride the momentum up. But as long as it doesn't, uh, if don't have a bottom wave, I'm not confident on buying right here because knowing the fact that it can flip bearish again, uh, it's just not on my setup, right? This will be a sell setup for me, but again, that's not my bias as well. Because no bottom week. Um, eighty percent of the try price should flip and create at least a small week or a solid one. So this is what I'm expecting here. But if it don't, then it's gonna be calling it a day. 
let's have a call it a day mark if it if the price just push up like that we are wanting to call it a day if it price just push up like that without a bottom wick i'm calling it a day here susah nak cari entry dekat nasdaq uh nasdaq sekarang tengah middle middle of nowhere so Yeah, tapi uh, stock market quite bearish, so I would say might retest a low here. Yeah? Did it? No, it didn't. Come on. How long I'm gonna wait? Remember, man, like this price keep keep not showing the confirmation and just uh pushing up on the zone without confirmation. I'm not gonna be getting a setup. How to say bearish Malay? Junam. 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 Fully should be fly 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 fly. <laughs> no, Junam. We're wrong. Okay, we're wrong. Okay, we're wrong. Okay, I never heard that word to be honest. Lifeline. Yunam is more like the local style. No, the 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 waterfall, yeah. Oh my god, man, go. It belongs to bro. You have to call your day mark here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Time waiting for for big man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm waiting for this. Like, okay, if, if this candlestick look like this, how beautiful it is! It's coming to the call it day mark, man. It's already calling the day. Yeah, I don't like this, man. I'm chilling. Let's call it a day, bro. It's multiple times it tapped the zone. It's Friday, man. You know, like, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's, it don't present the the the, the nice setup. It's, uh, we have to call it day, Mark. It's okay. It's, it's our stop loss for off the chart. Stop loss for off the chart, yeah. Stop loss of off the chart. Off the chart. I'm back, fuck. Okay, guys, I'm done. Um, yeah, it's a no trade day here, guys. So, it's okay. Sure. You Tell caught me. the buy off, nice. Right. Uh, I'm calling a day here. It 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 it, it tapped my off the chart map. Waiting for the bottom week but again it might happen later on the next 30 minutes we never know so maybe i set an alert to see how it goes and calling a day yeah bro all right let's go see you guys see you guys see you guys next monday guys uh it's a no trade day ciao okay adios adios mm -hmm.